It works. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are leaving Eindhoven, Netherlands. We are headed today via Wizz Air to Krakow, Poland. Having a rental car here has been pretty nice because we've been able to go outside of Eindhoven. Yesterday, we took kind of a day trip and just explored around. We went to the beach. We are here at the Hegway, the Hague, the Hague. We don't really know how to say it. We went to Amsterdam and we were able to kind of get outside of Eindhoven, but I feel like we've seen way more bikes than cars the entire time we've been here and there's also a great public transportation system and you don't need a car to go all over the Netherlands. We just have one because we accidentally got one because we were trying to lock in a price and then we couldn't cancel it. Long story short, we ended up with a car, but you don't need a car. I think I was more comfortable in England driving on the left side of the road with a stick shift than here on the right side of the road in an automatic. And the reason being is because the Netherlands is very uh, eco-friendly. You know, there's, there's only like one lane to drive right here but there's a walking lane over there. There are bus lanes that are just as big as the driving lanes. You can't drive into the bus lanes. If you're gonna be brave enough to drive here, just know it's a little bit more stressful than you think. Now I'm confused. I don't know. I'm so I don't have answers. Confused. <laughs> Hands down, as stressful, maybe more stressful than Malta. And Malta was terrifying. Could you imagine if I made it through this about on skating? Am I allowed to turn right on red? No, no, that would be like turning left on red. Yes. Jeez. Ready? We are so ready. So pro tip, if you ever fly out of Eindhoven airport, make sure to get here super, super early. I guess the issues with security at Schiphol airport in Amsterdam have trickled down to here and I guess it might be just uh, super slow at security checkpoints everywhere across the country, but this is super long. They've got a priority lane for people whose flights leave in a little bit, so we're in that, but uh, you know, we should start boarding here in about 45 minutes to an hour, and I don't see how we're gonna make it through all of this. Well, we made it through the line to get to the other line. Yeah. I really don't think it's possible to be like early for your flight. This is this is like step number four of the security process and the lines are just insanely long so hopefully we make the flight. All right now we're racing to our gate, gate four, priority. Boarding. Oh Holy smokes dude. That was brutal. for no reason apparently. <laughs> Holy smokes. We did it guys. We did it. Might not have any overhead bin space, but we'll be on the plane and I'll take that. It wasn't crazy. There's not enough security terminals for people to get through. Like so many people missed their flight. The flight that was at like 10 15 or something. I would say about 10 people missed that flight because yeah. of the security line. And so people wouldn't just, let them pass. And people either. wouldn't let them pass. It's just it's different. Here's our chariot. Not only did we get overhead bin space right above our seat, but we also got the middle seat. Our flight time today, I'm sitting one hour and 25 minutes, uh, so expecting to arrive uh, well ahead of schedule into Krakow. And the weather, it's a beautiful sunny day in Krakow uh, with temperatures that will reach uh, almost 20 degrees in the grades today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I wish you a pleasant flight. And I am just killing time by playing some Sudoku. It's only like an hour and 20 minute flight, so I figured rather than get started into another podcast or anything like that, I'd just sit here and play some Sudoku. So here we go. I wish you a pleasant stay in Poland and hope to see you soon on one of our flights here at Wizard. Goodbye.
so do you feel any type of like connection does the no. do you like i don't know feel anything no i feel i'm very excited to be here where are we going this way to the bus Another reason why we are very excited to be here and why it's exciting that we're spending two days or wow and why it's exciting that we're spending two whole weeks here is because my family is originally from here. I'll put the name of where they are like here because I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Hopefully by the end of these two weeks I'll be able to pronounce it and do it with confidence to Zelona Gora. So I'm excited to participate in some Polish traditions and just kind of learn more about the culture. There are already some things that are high on my list for food that I really want to try here. We're really holding out hope that our Airbnb host would text us, so we uh, sat outside for a little bit and ate some stroop waffles and- Homemade stroop waffles. Yeah. By a very lovely Dutch man who is in our last vlog. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Sorry. We're a little tired, but we're so excited to go into the Airbnb and we'll see you in a few days. Ran over my foot. I didn't. I just took my shoe off. Give a little tap. <laughs> 